to say that my journey to come to love got seven was straightforward would be a total lie <laughs> Hello, 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 this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Do Reactions and today I wanted to come with you with a different kind of video. The first in a series of videos all about GOT7, yes. Because in case you do not know, I absolutely adore GOT7, but it didn't start out that way. So if you have been here on this channel for a while, you would know that the first GOT7 song that I ever listened to, ever, was just right. And I loved it. I really did. <laughs> what is this? Everything's shaking. Oh, <laughs> I'm loving this video already and it's so sweet. I can already tell I'm gonna need to listen to a lot more GOT7, so I'm gonna need recommendations. <laughs> oh my gosh, who is he? Okay, it, the one in the pink, who is he? Who is he? I need to know. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Ow. <laughs> Who is he? That's it. I need to watch more. But then the next one that I listened to right after that was... <laughs> that fly move is a little bit weird. Yeah. Yay, I really like GOT7. They're so great. <laughs> and to say that I love the song would not be accurate. And while I do love it now, it was one of those songs that had to grow on me. But really, let's just rewind and start from the very beginning. In case you didn't know, I am a GOT7 stan. I absolutely love them and I've gone through a whole lot of issues and I finally accepted the fact that I am a BAM stan. And I just love GOT7 so much so that I've gone to see a bunch of their shows already, even though it's been less than a year since I've been into them. But let's just jump right into this. I didn't get into K-pop until the last day of March of 2016. I know the exact date. I looked it up. GOT7 was just coming back with Fly at that time. And I'm not gonna lie, they weren't the first group that I knew about. Nobody was like yelling and screaming, you need to go check out GOT7. Although some people did, which is why be well before the end of the month, I think it was probably mid-month by like, yeah, the middle of the month, people were telling me that I needed to check out GOT7. And I did. And I liked them enough that when the tickets went on sale on April 29th, of last year, which is, as you can see, less than a month after I got into K-pop, I decided, hey, I'm gonna be going to see GOT7. At that point, I hadn't fallen in love with them, so I didn't decide to go for the expensive tickets. I got like P3 or P4, they weren't super expensive, but I got some tickets. They were pr they were awesome, pretty awesome seats. They were like straight in the center. They were orchestra. They were decent seats, but I'll get to that a little bit later. And then began the slow build because of course at that point I would committed to going to this concert. And I mean, sure I could have sold the tickets, but I had a feeling, I had a kind of feeling that I was gonna enjoy them. So slowly over time, I started to listen to more of GOT7's discography. I dove through it, I zoomed through it. And eventually, right before the concert, I was totally into it. And you guys know, I have a whole vlog of it and you can see that I was already kind of just into this GOT7 world. But in case you didn't know, as I said, I initially purchased a lower tier P ticket and I decided that was not gonna be enough after I attended KCON. So I went and I bought like a almost 600, I think it was like 550 ticket for P2 for high touch. And I don't regret it. It was the beginning of the end for me. 
After the concert, I became official trash. Bam Bam made my world that day. I just, I loved them. And it was, it was the beginning of the end for me. I knew from that point forward, I was going to love GOT7. They went from being a group that was probably in my top 10 to being top four. And then they came back in, in September and they went from top four to top three. And then by the end of the comeback, they went from top three to top two. And in case you guys did not know, guys, so in November, shortly after the comeback, right before they solidified their spot as number two, um, they were going to go to Toronto, yes. So the tickets were announced in September before their comeback and I was on it so fast. I, it meant I had to get a passport. So I literally got a passport for GOT7. Um, and so I got a passport. I went to the show in Toronto and I died. Um, again, Bam killed me because Bam is just, I think Bam is out to get my soul. Bam, I love you. But I fell in love with GOT7. I fell in love with them hook, line, and sinker. And it only got worse. And they became my solid top two. Pretty much as soon as I got home from Toronto, it was announced that they were gonna have their US tour. So I went from one show in Dallas to two shows in Toronto. And I went to four out of five shows during their Turbulence in USA fan meet tour. Four out of five. As you can see, that's not a full tour. We're gonna rectify that next time. Who's with me? As far as GOT7 goes, I went from feeling kind of sort of lukewarm about them to being completely head over heels. And it's probably one of the best and most exciting things that has happened to me. I absolutely adore them. I don't know that I can love anybody more. It's just, they make me happy every time I see them. And I'm always driven to do stuff, crazy things for them, save all the money, buy all the things. I just, I love God 7 All I can say is that the more that I see them, especially in their concerts and fan meets, the more that I see them, the more I fall in love with them, the more endearing they are. They feel just so accessible in a way that I don't feel like anybody else feels. There's just something about them that is just really, really lovely and they're so sweet. And <laughs> I just love God 7 I keep saying this, but I'm really, really sorry, but I really do love them a lot. <laughs> so this really was just kind of like a video to kind of recap this little emotional journey that I've gone from kind of indifferent to being completely in love. I cannot wait for their comeback and I plan on doing some more of these videos on some different topics relating to GOT7, including like my favorite title tracks, my favorite non-title tracks, my bias and my plans for future with GOT7 and different things like that. So if there's any GOT7 related topics that you would like me to talk about, go ahead and leave them down below and I will definitely add them to my list because I feel like I might make this a little, a little series that I might do every couple of weeks. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.